New York Yankees, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from M1News.com, and it is that time again to talk about Max Scherzer. But before I begin, let's talk about that walk-off by Gio. Obviously, people are forgetting that Luke Voigt smoked, absolutely smoked, a 99-mile-per-hour fastball the opposite field. He really got that inning going. So, again, Cashman and the analytical staff, they're looking great when it comes to those pickups of Voigt and Gio. Now, I've stated this in the past. The Yankees are great when it comes to, let's say, scouting players that are under radar, flying under the radar and making trades, signings, whatever for them. They're also great at signing international players. But the Yankees are weak in this aspect of getting that ace that's going to take them to the next level. And by saying the next level, it's not first place. I'm talking about a playoff run. I'm talking about the World Series. They have had many opportunities to make those kinds of trades come trade deadline. They thought they had it with Sonny Gray, as Sam and Eddie Source likes to call him, Darkness Gray. They thought they had it with him. But it's common sense. We're talking about aces with high velocity. We're talking about a Verlander. We're talking about a Mad Max if he becomes available. As you guys know, I pushed hard for him last trade deadline. Obviously, the Nationals had a big old ego. They decided to hold on to their playoff hopes. Obviously, they pulled the trigger at the second deadline, the waiver deadline, but it was too late. They could have got a big old haul for a uh, Harper, etc. So fast forward now, there's a whole bunch of baseball analysts, media outlets suggesting that the Nationals become sellers at the trade deadline. They are specifically naming Max Scherzer as one of those candidates, but I wouldn't count in the Yankees going after Scherzer. Judging how the Yankees operate now, judging how Hal Steinbrenner runs the Yankees, they're not going to come close to Scherzer. But I'm going to say this, whatever contending team wants to take on his contract, obviously if they make that trade, the Nationals are going to have to eat up about 25% or 35% of his remaining contract. I will say this, whatever team trades for Mad Max, you're looking at a repeat of how the Astros got Verlander in 2017. He's absolutely going to dominate and he's going to make any team that gets him a serious certified World Series contender. Obviously, in the perfect world, I would love Scherzer on the Yankees. I think the Yankees need to get an arm like him come playoff stretch, come the last days of the season or remaining two months of the season. Like I said, another repeat of Verlander. Scherzer has a unique contract. In total, he is going to make $210 million, but he's going to continue to make cash once he's not a national so he could retire after that and he'll be making about 15 million dollars per season something like that i'm not sure what's the precise number but i'm pretty sure it's 15 million dollars till 2028 obviously max has a few more years left he's about what 34 he'll possibly still be pitching after 2022 so yeah if the deal presents itself as if let's say the Nationals pay about 35% of his remaining contract. If the Nationals want to sell, and if Scherzer's one of their main players that they're willing to trade, I can see a whole bunch of contending teams gunning for Mad Max. In my opinion, I don't see the Yankees doing it, but in the perfect world, I would love for them to do such a thing. So Yankees fans, what do you guys think about Mad Max? He's going to be another pitcher to reach over 3,000 strikeouts. Obviously, he's going to go down as one of the GOATs to ever pitch in baseball. One of those unique, you know, generational arms that we rarely see in baseball on the lines of Clemens, Johnson, Verlander, etc. He's one of those. So, Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. It has been Felix from mynews.com. Hashtag hola como estas. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits.